I know, don't tamper with the bracelet, don't contact Erica, and don't leave the house without the court's permission. Hey, it could be worse. You could be back in jail. Oh, believe me, I'm not complaining. Look, I just want to make sure you understand, all right? You're not off the hook. You're just out on bail. And I, I'm going to pay you back. Amber, don't worry about the money, all right? Just stay out of trouble until the trial. No phone calls, no confronting Erica, no snooping around. No problem, okay? I don't want to be anywhere near her apartment. Well, Erica isn't living there anymore anyway. She's staying with Rick. She's living at my house? Amber, remember what the judge said. You break one condition of the release and you go straight back to jail. I can't contact Erica. But she's living with Rick. I'm so sorry. No. No way. If, if I can't get near Erica, then I can't get to Rick. And then I can't even call my own house, and I can't even talk to my own son. And this is, this is crazy, Taylor. This is crazy. That witch has been after my family for months, and finally she's got them all to herself. How did this happen? What did you do to Amber? Don't you, sweetheart? I'm just trying to help you. I'm asking you again. What did you do to her? Nobody has to do anything to Amber. No, all those big problems she has, she brought them all on herself. So you didn't throw a rock through our window? You never met? The guy that she spent the night with, you didn't ask him to spike her drink and take her home with him? You didn't let me tell you something, Erica. Miss Amber Moore is no saint, and Lance is not the first guy she had a fling with. How did you know his name was Lance? Oh my God. Everything that Amber has been telling Rick is true. You did this to her. I'm sorry. I... You are? Are you? No. Good. <sighs> CJ, all this time you kept pushing me away. Why didn't you say something? You couldn't tell. Bridget, I... I couldn't. But now? It's okay. You don't have to be afraid, CJ. I know what you're feeling. I feel it too.
I'm scared too. I know what it's like to get hurt. Putting yourself out there like that is a huge risk. Oh man, you must think I'm a complete idiot. Why? Because you were acting like one? Okay, look, I, I know that I overreacted. It's just, he came in here and he started talking about your mom. You know how I feel about her. But that's not what set you off. No. How do you think I felt when you fired me? I was so angry at myself for trusting you. I mean, after everything that happened with Deacon, I have to be a fool to trust anyone. Especially you. Gee, thanks. But I did. For some reason, I did. Because you understood. I could tell. Bridget, I did. Or at least I thought I did, or, or I tried to. And I started to care about you. I felt so bad for you. Pity. Great. Oh, CJ, no. I never pitied you. You... You are one of the strongest, most courageous people I've ever met. And stubborn. And stubborn. You did fire me, after all. Yeah, well, I, I just couldn't think of any other way to get rid of you. Well, you're not going to. I knew it. I knew it. I told you. I should have been honest with my attorney. If he knew what Erica did to me... You can't prove anything. She's obsessed with my husband. She is living in my house. Connor has to tell that judge what she's up to. What, and give the court a motive for throwing that rock? But I didn't throw the rock. I told you, I was just looking. I was looking in the window. I was standing outside. And I'm telling you, Taylor, there was definitely someone inside that apartment. You saw some, someone in there? Yes. I know. It doesn't make any sense, because Erica lives with her mother, and her mother was at the party, but there was someone... No, she wasn't. What? Her mother never showed. Oh, my God. That's it. Of course. It was her mother. She told her mother to do it. Rick said that Amber was going to talk to Lance because she knew he was lying and she was going to prove it. Look, honey, I, I know that you're upset and you're confused. This has been a terrible shock for you. I've seen the picture of Eric and me finding out the truth about my past. I understand how you could be suspicious. I've hidden so much of my life from you. But you've, you've got to believe me, Erica. I thought I was doing what was best for you. I love you, sweetheart. And there is nothing in this world more important to me than your happiness. You manipulated me. You ruined Rick's marriage. You destroyed his family. Oh, no. No, did I cause Amber to have her miscarriage? Did I cause her to get hooked on drugs? Did I put her in rehab? No. And what about the rest of it? Her trashy family, the other divorce, the other men in her life. You know her history. He forgave her. They've gotten past that. Erica, Rick is free. He doesn't have to forgive Amber anymore. No, it's over. There's no more scandal in his life. So what? What, do you think you did him a favor? What, I'm supposed to be happy about this? CJ. I'm here for you. Like, you, you don't have to keep saying that, okay? Yeah, I do. Bridget, look, I, I know you're gonna be busy. I mean, you have school. Do you think I'm gonna be too busy for you? You're pre-med. Okay, you're gonna be a doctor. I mean, I run a coffee shop. You're a businessman. I'm a Spectra. And I'm a Forester. So what? I 
Let's see. Guess I'm not the only stubborn one here, am I? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm stubborn. When it comes to things that matter to me. Bridget, I know what you're trying to do here. Okay? I... I know that you think I kissed you just because you told me you weren't gonna leave. Didn't you? No, I kissed you because I wanted to. But this whole time, this whole time I've just been so afraid. I've been afraid that one day you'd wake up and you'd realize you didn't need me or this job. CJ. I don't need this job. But I do need you. I need you too. I just never realized how much. You realize. What? We're actually talking to each other. We've always been able to talk, don't you think? Yeah, but now you're finally being honest with me. What about you? You weren't exactly, um, slipping love notes under my door now, were you? <laughs> Jay, every time I tried to reach out to you, that, that huge wall would come up. But, you know, I worked a really long time to build that wall. I know. I was really beginning to think nobody would ever be able to knock it down. I'd like to try. Somebody threw that rock at me, and if it wasn't Eric, Amber, Amber you are getting sidetracked again. You need to stay focused on your <sighs> child. I need to get that woman out of my house. I need to have my family back. Well, you won't be able to do that from jail, will you? Why does this situation keep getting worse? You know, when I, when I came back from Lance's apartment, I, I really thought that I hit rock bottom, but look at me now. Somebody else is definitely involved in this. This is not just Erica. And I have to find out who's doing this, and I have to stop them. Somehow I have to stop this. guilty at all, do you? What are you talking about? You've been a godsend to that family. A godsend? 
Mother, I'm the reason his family is falling apart. Oh, you had nothing to do with it. No, you know what? You're right. I didn't. I didn't spike Amber's drink. I didn't ask some guy to kidnap her. But I'm just as guilty as if I did because you did all of this for me so that I could have Rick. But is this, isn't that what you wanted? You know, his marriage has been a disaster from the beginning. It's only a matter of God, time before- Stop all it! This stop! You can justify this all you want, but you can't take back what you did! Well, you're right. What's done is done. What, you, you want to waste your time feeling sorry for Amber? Or, or do you want to realize the incredible opportunity you have right now, Erica? Not because of what I did, but because of the incredible person that you are. Rick deserves someone like you, baby. You can make him so much happier than Amber ever has, and you know that, and so does his family. They see everything that you've done for him, and they're thrilled. After years of being on this roller coaster ride with Amber, you, you have brought them normalcy, stability to their life. Normalcy? There is nothing normal about this, Mother. Oh, and uh, Rick and little Eric better off with you or a drug-addicted oh, time bomb like God, Amber. enough! I can't even talk to you about this anymore. Erica, you stop, have got to- Mom, stop it! I can't listen to another word of what you're telling me. I mean, God, do you realize what you've done? The position that you've put me in. Yes, I do. I have put you right where you belong. I have given you the chance for the life that you have dreamed of. And when you think about it, when you really think about what this means, you're gonna be grateful and you're gonna thank me. And do you know why? Because you've got Rick right where you want him. He's grieving, he's available, and he's depending on you. Erica, you have him right here. All you have to do is sink your claws into him. This week. That's it. You're out of here. Amber's under house arrest. She can't go! The hell she can't! She has to stay here. And it's far from home sweet home. She walks out of this house, she goes straight back to jail. Even better. Now, she's got to get out or get it on. I am not sharing my house with that creature. The Bold and the Beautiful. 